Yeah, you mentioned my Broncos. Listen, don't sleep on Russ. Don't sleep on Peyton. I'm just saying. No, I'm kidding. I really am not high on the Broncos in any type of capacity. But I do want to bring up a team that I am a little high on right now. I know for a fact I'm about to get some, maybe some some jokes thrown my way, some whatevers. But there is an underdog for this week, week one in the NFL on the Sunday slate that I am eyeballing, that I absolutely love. And that is the Steelers over the 49ers. I think Brock Purdy gets exposed this season offensively. Ooh. I am a Kenny Pickett believer. Mike Tomlin is a dog. He handed the Bengals a loss in their first game last season, a defense led by TJ Watt. And I don't know what Nick Bosa's situation is going to bring. So before it gets formally announced, I'm grabbing Steelers at plus money on the money line. Connor, is it a Live absolute up. death wish or do you like it? No, I'm with you all the way. This is one of my favorite picks of the week. I'm so glad to hear somebody yes. else on it as well. Yes. I look at this game. The line is wrong. The line was wrong probably before the injuries, and that is George Kittle is coming into this banged up. I count Nick Bosa as an injury, even though he's not hurt. He's in a contract Correct. dispute that is very significant. This offensive line has lost some pieces over the years. Brock Purdy is coming off a significant elbow injury. Listen, I'm a 49ers believer. Don't get me wrong. We've seen them start slow before. And I believe in the Steelers this year. I think that's the difference as well. That's a lot of points for a team that has gained a lot of talent. It's Mike Tomlin, who always shows up ready to roll. I'm glad you brought up Kenny Pickett's growth. He looked good in the preseason with George yep. Pickens, with Deontay Johnson. Najee Harris is healthy. Jalen Warren's a viable number two running back. I, this is one of my favorite lines of the week. I'm with you all the way. I, I don't think it's Love crazy it. to go money line, but if you want to be a little cozier, a little safer, you could take the two and a half, and I think you'll be fine. Listen, I'm a TCU right, fan and a Broncos fan, so nothing is safe about me. So we're going money line. <laughs> okay, I, I just want to point out to you guys, because, you know, Connor's comment just caught my ear. Connor said the line is wrong, right? Okay, let me tell you, I saw a story earlier today. It said 73 and a half million adults have bet on the NFL. Okay, 73 Ooh. and a half million people have bet on the NFL. And most of them have lost money. Why? Because they think the line is wrong. <laughs> I mean, why? You don't know I make. Mean? And listen, Vegas ain't True. wrong, Connor. Vegas is not wrong. You go in there thinking, oh, no, no, I got it. Nope. That's how they make money. That's how they build empires. There's a new something going up right now uh, in, a, in a major city near you because you think the line is wrong. The line is not wrong. Watch out. Michael, well, I gotta tell that's you. why those casinos look that nice uh, from the outside. That's right. right? Somebody's got to be paying <laughs> and, those bills. <laughs> and and I'm right. telling you, I'm, I'm as I'm as guilty as anybody. I told you, my bets are your money coming tomorrow. But Liv, tell me about your other underdog. Oh, I think here we go. The logo right down there. Oh, uh, here we go. Well, all right. How are, so, I, I just said? How can you? How are the Jets an <laughs> underdog? How's that? Explain that to me. Well, they are technically in terms of Vegas. In, in a Vegas perspective, they are the underdog. Vegas has the Bills favored to win by at least a field goal. Now, here's what I'm going to tell you. I am not a huge Aaron Rodgers is my lover type of fan. Some of that nonsense is getting scary to me, the obsession with Aaron Rodgers. I'm over the hoopla. I really am. However, I think the reason that I like the Jets in this game has less to do with the Jets. It is still Aaron Rodgers. It's their home opener. There's a lot of hype. There's a lot of excitement. Not only do I like it for that reason, but I anticipate regression from this Bills team. So that is almost more of the reason that I lean with the Jets here. Again, I, I would like to take them on the money line. Sometimes with betting for me, if the line, if it's under a field goal, I'm going to go ahead and just grab the money line. Better value. And again, I don't play it safe around here. We just go, we don't dip our toes. We dive in the water. So again, I think this is more for me, not a reflection of buying into the Aaron Rodgers hype right off the jump, but more so I expect regression from the Bills this season. So I like the Jets in this spot. Vegas thinks the Bills are winning by a field goal, but I beg to differ. Connor, this is this is so interesting. Uh, for me, and I, I just want to get your take on it, because as as I told our family yesterday, audience here, that I enjoy making fun of the Jets. It's just so easy. It's been easy <laughs> for many, many years. Um, and, and generally, I would say it this way: like the Jets won Super Bowl three, and if like if you go back, if the Super Bowl logo was drawn in pencil, it, it really. <laughs> That doesn't really count. Like if the Super Bowl was played at like 1230, 
like on a Sunday afternoon. Like, okay, if that if that's how long it was when your team won the Super Bowl, it's like noon. And you know, they had like probably like a local marching band as the halftime entertainment, <laughs> you know, just like very wholesome, all that stuff. You know, no drinks. They they ain't serve any drinks because we can't do that at a football game. You know, if it was that era, then that doesn't really count. But that's that's the Jets. But the irony is Western New York hates me. Like the Buffalo fans hate me because I said something uh, nasty about them a couple years ago and they haven't moved on. And it got so bad that there was a guy, true story, there's a guy, um, and that's not all of Western New York, it's just one Bills fan. He's a really dumb guy. So he was trying to, he somehow got my number, was trolling me, and I just kind of traced his, I just said, oh, I can figure out his number and figure out who he is. Like, like, anyway, but I didn't. I had restraint, I showed restraint. I didn't like call him back and be like, listen, it's gonna be a misunderstanding if you ever call me again, whatever. But anyway, they, they, they're really, Buffalo hates me, but I'm gonna tell you, Buffalo, Connor, is being underrated. Buffalo's the underdog, not the Jets. Did, did Josh Allen leave? Stephon Diggs might wanna leave, he didn't leave. Sean McDermott's still a good coach. They got they lost to Cincinnati last year. Cincinnati's a really good team, so they lost to Cincinnati in the playoff game at the crib. Got it. Why? And 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 and, uh, and, and uh, Natalie and, and Gary, if you can put up that PFT poll, power ranking, PFT, our own people have the Jets ranked ahead of the Bills. What? Woo! What? What? Are you kidding me? They got the Jaguars ahead of the Bills. Connor, overrated Jets, underrated Bills. Your thoughts? There's a lot to unpack here. All right, going all the way back to a man getting your cell phone number, but we'll leave that one for another day. Listen, I've somehow found myself in this conversation quite a bit this offseason because I, a lot of the Bills fans they interact with plenty. I mean, I'm a New Yorker. I've covered the Jets very closely and naturally with them playing the Bills twice a year. You come across a lot of interaction and they're very frustrated that all of the talking heads on TV, all the pundits are picking the Jets. Some are picking the Dolphins. Some are picking the Patriots. They feel overlooked. And I understand. I, I'm telling them. Listen, you're not going to pick. You shouldn't pick against the Bills until they give you a reason to. But I'll say this for all the talking heads, for all the storylines, for all of those picks. Vegas is still saying the Bills are the heavy favorite to win this division. So yeah. you try to go Vegas. to the closest thing to logic. The Bills are plus 120 to win this division. The Jets all the way down at plus 270. That's a big gap. Mm. So I think it's yeah. we've hit a, a we've hit a total wall where the media and the headlines and the great discussions, which are fun, we love being a part of them, are hyping up the new, which is the Jets. And there's, I understand some of that. Even they're hyping up what the Dolphins, the Dolphins can do under Mike McDaniel. But the reality is the actual logic here and, and you know odds are that the Bills are still the runaway favorite to win this division. And as Liv pointed out, they are heavy favorites. The Jets are at home and they're still field goal dogs, which means they think Buffalo is maybe five whole points better than the Jets. And the best part is, all of the months and the months of talking are done. They finally have to play under the lights Monday night. That's right. We shall see. We well, got, shall uh, see. Connor, uh, I, I don't know. You, you didn't. Uh, you didn't chime in when uh, Liv said Brock Purdy's going to get exposed. Now she's speaking my language. I feel the same way. But you didn't say anything on that. Who do you like in the NFC? Who do you like in the AFC? That's the final thing I have for you. Who do you like to come out of uh, these uh, conferences? It's really chalk, but I'm still not going against the Eagles. I mean, the roster got better, and the roster was already great, and Jalen Hurts keeps getting better, and he has some of the best weapons in football. So it's just it's so easy to pick the Eagles because it applies logic and makes sense. And then when you look at the AFC, I mean, it was when everything was smooth sailing for the Chiefs, you can honestly see a repeat Super Bowl, but going against that, I'll tell you, I really like two teams in the North and maybe three after how I talked about the Steelers. I love the Bengals and the Ravens this year. Yes. I really, really do. 
I think the Ravens made a great hire in Todd Munkin. They're going to be more pass happy. They're going to really unlock more of Lamar Jackson, which we've already seen him win an MVP. But now if you have more of a downfield passing attack to go with the running, they're going to be really dangerous. And I just won't ever bet against Joe Burrow very often in my life, especially when he's thrown at Jamar Chase and T. Higgins. That's one of the, the best coach defenses as a unit, not a standalone top heavy talent, but as a unit in the entire NFL. So I love Cincinnati and I love Baltimore. Okay, Connor, really quick before you go, I got to pick your brain on this because I don't know how you feel, but it's off of what you said. I've got an Eagles Seahawks NFC championship game, and I've got a Bengals Jags AFC championship game. I like the Jags. I like what Doug Peterson can do in year two with Trevor Lawrence, but I'm with you. I ultimately have an Eagles Bengals Super Bowl. That's my pick. Yeah. I'm really high on Seattle. I think I would pick them to yes. win that division if I wasn't going to take a favorite. They're plus 230 right now. They've added so much mm -hmm. talent through the draft. They've crushed both the drafts. Geno is still underrated, which is very odd to me. Now they got a third very. wide receiver in Jackson Smith and Jigba. Second year of that young offensive line gelling together. Seattle will make a big run this year. I like that a lot. Yes. Still don't think they do enough to get over the Eagles, like you said. Jacksonville, here's the one thing I need to see, Liv. I need to see that defense become a game-changing defense. I need to see them get takeaways. I need to see them be able to roll with the big dogs. I love the offense. I love Doug Peterson. They have Calvin Ridley now for Trevor Lawrence. They got two running backs that can really play. I need to see that defense be able to hang with the top elite quarterbacks in the NFL. If they can prove that, that's the difference of them being, you know, appearing in the playoffs, maybe stealing a game and actually going to a conference title game. Love it. I love I love it. Love it. Connor Rogers. It has begun. As you said, talking time is about over. I mean, well, not right. over. We'll continue to talk, but <laughs> there's talking time and we got games. We have games. I mean, we've been talking since February, March. Now we can talk in the time fall to walk the walk. and have games and have games. So Connor, uh, right. always look forward to talking ball with you. Thanks for hanging out, man. Thank you. Anytime, Connor. anytime, guys. Hey, thank you for watching Brother From Another. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do that now. Don't forget, you can catch us three to four weekdays on PeacockTV.com and on Sirius XM Channel 85.